Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to do a brief um, overview of how to calculate the Social Security tax you might expect to pay for your annual gross income. So, how does this work? Um, the first idea is that you'll have a gross income. This is the income you have coming in over the course of a year. And from that, Social Security is calculated as this amount, gross earnings times 6.2% for the employer and 6.2% for the employee. We'll assume that we are the employee here and that we're paying that 6.2%, but if you're working for a company, they're also contributing 6.2% based on your annual income towards Social Security, and that totals 12.4%. So if we look at a couple of gross incomes, let's look at a smaller income, let's say 10,000, a nice round number, and then let's go up to say 60,000, hundred thousand and then finally we'll do two hundred thousand so you can see how the cap works here for the higher salary so for the gross income of ten thousand if I want to know what am I paying in Social Security I just multiply it by 0 0.062 and that number 0 0.062 is just 6.2 divided by a hundred right you have a you have a decimal of a percent you want to turn it into a decimal divide by a hundred and then we'll repeat the process every single time until we get to the situation where there's a cap. And for the cap, let's read what that says. It says, for incomes over 132,900 that have already had the maximum Social Security will not have additional withholding. So the 200,000, we're gonna actually first subtract 132,900 from it and that amount will have no additional security social security tax um, taken from it so in other words we're only going to be deducting from 132,900 and below this part right here will have no social security tax applied and um, we're only going to tax on the 132,000 and below so actually maybe the easiest way of doing this before I start over complicating things for myself is just to cross this out and realize that anything over 132,900 there is no social security tax so it's just going to be that maximum 132,900 times 0 0.062 so if you have an income over this cap level just take 132,900 and multiply it by 0 0.062 and you're done um, so let's figure this out. Get some numbers here. We've got 10,000 times 0 0.062. So we pay $620 of Social Security tax over the course of the year. 60,000 times 0 0.062, 3,720. And then 100,000 times 0 0.062 and that would be 6,200 and then finally the most you could pay per year under the current rules that could change is 0 0.062 times 132,900 which is 8,239.8 uh, another question you might answer from each of these actually let me just copy and paste those in there I'll move up a little bit here just so we can get all those numbers in at once. There they are. So the first answer was 620 all the way down to 8239. Let me just shrink that down a little bit. This is my, I'm trying to be efficient here, but it's not the neatest. So 620 belongs here, 3720 here, 6200 here, and 8239 there. Another question you might ask is, well, what remains? What's left of your gross income? So let's do one example, we'll do the first one. So let's say we look at this example right here, right? Well, we're taking away a small percentage and we're taking that away from 100%. So if I wanna know in one step how much money I would have left, I mean, I could do 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.062, and then, which is 620, and then subtract 620, from 10,000 and that's how much I have left. Or I could just do it like this. 10,000 times 
100% the amount we have minus 0 0.062. Now you take off 6% from 100, so 94, uh, and then a, a 0.2 is 93.8. So this is going to be essentially 10,000. When you subtract these two, and you're going to get 93.8%. And that just tells you that if you take away about 6% from 100, right, or about 0.938, sorry, so 10,000 times 0.938, all that number is saying is that you've taken away a little over 6%, and what remains is about 93.8% of the money you had. So we can check this on the calculator. Hope I didn't subtract anything wrong. So if you did 1 minus 0 0.062, is it popping up there? Let me scroll down. OK, so 1 minus 0 0.062. It's about 90, it is 93.8%. Multiply that by 10,000. And that gives you 9,380, which is, right, that is what's left because 10,000 minus the 620 over here is 9,380. All right, I hope this helped.